Hey Hunters, Lord here, back with another Sunbreak video. In today's video, I'm reaching out to all my new console hunters who have just gotten Sunbreak today. I wanted to say congrats, you finally made it. I wanted to give you guys my top three longswords that you can craft by the two star master rank quests so you'll be able to have a higher damage and good sharpness very early on in your master rank experience. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Starting off with the first one that you'll be able to make is the Black Katana Mark 1. This is along the Hornetor tree and it is directly craftable from Master Rank materials, meaning you don't have to have the high rank version of this sword in order to make its Master Rank upgrade. Its materials required are, as you can see on the right, and the easiest way that I've found to farm for this one was doing the one star quest bugging out where you have to slay Vespoids or Hornitors, as you'll be able to kill Hornitors and get Hornitor materials from the quest rewards. I would definitely recommend bringing Poison Smoke Bombs as this will kill the Hornitors in a way that allows you to carve them, which will give you more materials allowing you to make this sooner. The Dragonbone artifact can also be found by searching Bone Piles in the jungle, which is already where this quest is, so before you finish the quest, be sure to have a quick run through and check your bone piles. The second one that I want to touch on is available at Master Rank 2 Star Quests, and that is the Wyvern Blade Holly Plus. This is either craftable directly or you can upgrade it. It requires the Rathi materials that you see on the right, as well as a Dragonbone Artifact. Again, Dragonbone Artifact is from Bone Piles in the Jungle, so just search those out, should be easy enough to find. And then you'll want to complete the quest, The Queen's Garden, in order to get the Rathi materials that you need to craft this longsword. My third and final longsword is the Jinxmonger. This is craftable from the Poison Tree, which branches out from the Bone Scythe Tree, so you'll need to already have this made and upgraded in order to get to the Jinxmonger. Again, Rathian, Puke Puke, and Deadly Poison Sacks will be available in Master Rank 2 Star. You can get the Poison Sacks from both Puke Puke or Rathian. Now Hornitor is going to be the easiest that you can make and will be the earliest one you can make along but it does have the lowest raw, however it comes with positive affinity, a small defense boost, and base white sharpness. Rathian will need some handicraft to get to white sharpness but with good poison, good slots, a good rampage slot, and middle of the park attack this is definitely a good early master rank option. Jinxmonger has the highest raw out of the pack, but will again need some handicraft to get into white sharpness. It also has very high poison, but negative 10% affinity and no slots. Again guys, these are just options for early master rank until you can upgrade your old weapons to their master rank potential as you get into the higher star quests in master rank. I know most people definitely don't want to start out their master rank 1, 2, and 3 experience by crafting 5 different long swords right out of the gate for each element. So these are going to be some really solid raw options that will carry you pretty far without too much farming necessary in the early game. If you console hunters do have any questions at all about Sunbreak in general, feel free to drop those down in the comments and I will do my best to answer all of them to the best of my ability. If you did find this video helpful, a like would be super appreciated. If you enjoy content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more Monster Hunter content just like this. If you're looking for build ideas once you do complete the story, I have tons of Sunbreak builds on my channel ranging from pre-title update all the way up to title update 5, so be sure to check those out for more information. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, I wish you all a good day, and happy hunting.